From the station putting local first, this is KTSM 9 News at 5. A video surfaced online showing an El Paso family's dog at a groomer's moments before it died. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shelby Cap in for Natasia Paloma. Now, the owners say they have a lot of questions and the business is sharing its side. KTSM 9 News reporter Tawny Davis spoke with both about the situation. While the owner has called for the closure of Crazy Dog Grooming, the business has spoken out about their side of the situation. Bevo's owners said that when they took him to the groomers on Monday, they never expected him to never return home. When the accident occurred, the groomers took him to the vet next door. It was the doctor there that called the owners and explained that Bevo had passed. Immediately, the owners tried to get answers from the business, but they were left with nothing. They are now calling on the public to have the groomers answer for what happened. Don't don't take your babies there. Don't don't trust people that can tear your entire world apart in two hours. Um, that's all I want. I want people to be held accountable. I want the owner held accountable. I want whoever was handling Bebo to be held accountable. Um, justice for Bebo. We spoke with the owner of Crazy Dog Grooming this morning, and they are claiming that everything that happened was beyond their control. They were under the impression that the dog was sick, and they claim that the dog owners are making false statements. This makes us think that they maybe knew the dog was sick and decided on that so the truth wouldn't be revealed. But even then, they continued to accuse us without anything official that states that it was our fault that the dog died. As of now, the business is cooperating with the investigation. It seems that both parties share a common ground in finding out about what happened to the dog. For KTSM 9 News, Tawny Davis. Thank you, Tony. And the El Paso Police